Shalamami Vrablo Vinonati Yahweh Basham Yosha Basham Makak Wadash Dobnon Slavasa El is a great man's doll. The salutation to you since the Iraq and then the four corners of earth which the sincerity and truth to wake up the election of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Hispanic and Native Indians. Alright? The confusion of faces that look like the other nations, but go back to the seed of Israel, alright? This is um, Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 13. I will bring near my righteousness, it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. I will place salvation in Zion, for Israel is my glory, all right? And that glory is coming through Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, all right? When he destroyed his kingdom, all right? Particular Babylon, which is America, right? Which the Edomites have set up for themselves, right? And he's out of nation and he stripped them of their powers, right? True Yahweh Shah, alright? Um, this is Daniel. Daniel chapter 7. 7 verse 13. I saw in the vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the cloud of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory in a kingdom that all people, nation, and languages shall serve, serve him, and dominion and everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, right? So the the Most High is setting up Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Yahushai's kingdom, right? Along with the hundred and forty four thousand, right? Which are his governments, right? And that kingdom is no it's not gonna be destroyed. Alright, it's going to be an everlasting kingdom for the nation of Israel. Alright, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Alright, verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom over the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Alright, they're going to obey Yahweh Shah, alright, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, alright, and who are the saints? Psalms 148 and verse 14. He who exalts the horn of his people, the praise of all the saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise he the power, alright? So Israel is near unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and now these are the nation, alright? Psalms uh, 149 and verse 4. For the Lord had taken pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the, the saints be joy, joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud unto their beds. Alright? Let them sing aloud unto their beds because the salvation is coming, right? The nation of Israel is going to be restored, right? Starting for us with the, with the election, which are the 144,000 and one third in the great multitude. Okay. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6 Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great? Who had the power so nigh unto them? As your your, your, your power is in all things that we call upon him for, all right? And we call upon him for our salvation through Yahweh Shah, all right? And we're going to be delivered, all right? And we're going to be restored back to the kingdom, all right? With that, this kingdom is about to be destroyed by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And we, we, we patiently wait, though we are going to go through some tribulation and some suffering. At the end of the day, we're going to restore that peace. Tree how bashim yaw shah shalawam.